Around three months ago, I had made a video on a tool that helps you create powerful large language model applications like FlowWise. It's called DeFi, also known as Do It For You. It's an all-in-one solution for seamlessly building and managing AI native apps based on ranges of large language models. Three months ago, you were restricted to only using ChatGPT models for creating LM-based apps. However, you are now open to the possibility to use open source as well as closed source models such as Llama, you have Anthropic, and so many others. Now, this could be used for AI app creation, prompt engineering, and many other possibilities. You have way more features and plugins such as a new support for hugging face embedded models. You have data set services as well as integration of prompt engineering. Just take a look at this example where you're able to now add hugging face or replicate API keys plus the model name so that you're able to call any open source model on the model providers. They added this functionality where you're able to utilize many different ranges of large language models to create these large language model applications. This brings in so much more flexibility and customization to what you're trying to create. And this will be really useful for a lot of people who are focusing on open source projects as this is a great gateway for you to create them as it's an easy and efficient way to do so. So throughout today's video, we're going to be delving a little bit deeper, deeper on DeFi by exploring these new features that we haven't covered before. And we're also gonna take a look at how you can get started with it and showcasing just a brief overview of this application. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey guys, I started this new thing where I'm gonna be offering my one-on-ones with you guys. So if you're interested in this, I can definitely help you develop a solution for AI tools, help you brainstorm ideas, as well as just basically elevating what you're trying to accomplish with my knowledge. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at DeFi, which is an AI tool focused on creating and operating AI native apps with a range of different large language models. Not restricted to only using the GPT models, you are able to use open source models for creating these free applications. Now, this is quite similar to what Flowwise was actually capable of doing, but this is more of an easier way to use this LM Ops platform as you're able to use this for teams to develop AI applications and operate them visually. Now with DeFi, you are able to create these AI powered applications within minutes, whether it's for internal teams to use or external releases, and you can deploy them quickly within just five minutes. The tool provides various different features such as storyteller bots for answering specific questions. You have an SQL generator for converting natural language to SQL. You have a code converter for converting programming languages and a text generator, generator for summarizing these key information sets. Now you're also able to code complete with this model, which is absolutely insane as you have such a wide range of different tasks that you could be completed with the AI applications that are made off of DeFi. It can create out of the box websites supporting form mode and chat conversation modes with a single API encompassing plugin capabilities as well as context and enhancements and such forward. You save so much backend coding efforts. You have so much time to focus on the visual data analysis that's presented through DeFi. It saves you time with log review, annotations for applications, and so much more. In simple terms, it's increasing your productivity while using DeFi as it saves you time with all the hassle that is there for creating AI applications. This is why I wanted to put emphasis on this because of these new amazing features and plugins that were released with this new update. So let's get to the next step of the video where I showcase how to download it and then we'll go quickly into showcasing how you can actually use this. If you would like to access our private Discord which gives you subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have networking opportunities, networking calls, consulting, so much more. Definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Follow World of AI if you guys haven't already. Definitely take a look at the YouTube page, subscribe, like this video, turn on notification bell, and check out our previous videos. For the case of this video, I'm going to be showcasing how to create an app. It's fairly easy. What I did is create an SQL generator. So in this case, I went along, clicked on the create new tab, and selected text generator. I provided the name, clicked continue and I created it. 
something that is fairly easy and I'll then keep, take you to this uh, overview page in which you can go and set up the model provider. I selected the base model that is provided which is completely free which is the open AI base model and in this case you're able to utilize open uh, source models but I'm just going to go ahead and use open AI. Selected the GPT 3.5 turbo reasoning method as well as using the text embedding uh, ADA model. Now, once this is all set, you can configure your plugins, but in this case, we're not going to be using that. We have done that and then go onto the prompt engineering tab and then you're able to set the uh, actual prompt where I said that you are an SQL generator that will help users translate their input natural language query requirements and target database. Now it does this by putting this into the target SQL statement and you're now able to deploy this fairly easily after you save it. Now you're able to debug it as well, which is also really useful. But in this case, you're able to preview this off the preview tab, which allows you to select database types. And just know I did not do any of this. It did it on its own. And it was able to create all this from a single prompt, which is absolutely amazing. You're able to use SQL, MySQL, SQL Server, and such for it. You're able to run the batch with your own file and you can just input your uh, whatever text that you want to translate for the SQL generator. You can then execute it and it'll have this output over here, which you can copy, save it, as well as export it. And that's easy as that in creating your own LM based application. Now there's two ways to install this. You can definitely access it through the cloud as well as installing it using Docker. Now, this is something that you can do with Docker Compose. So there's a couple of commands in which you can do so. You can set this up with Docker and then compose it with the command over here. Now, what I recommend is that you actually check out the requirements because you need to have a CPU greater than or equal to two core. You need to have more than four gigabytes of RAM to have this functional. Now, these are just the minimum system requirements. So keep that in mind. It'll be more functional and more like appropriate to use, but better specs than these ones over here. So definitely keep that in mind. But the best case is that you use it with the cloud service as this is something that you can access right away off their website. What you got to do is just create an account and you can get started right away, which we'll do right next. Quickly, let's go over some of the cool features. We talked about how you can use different large language models. You're able to utilize Langchain, Hogging Face, and Replicate to utilize open source models. You can see that there is an access to a wide range of different options in terms of utilizing large language models to create applications. They also stated that we provide the following free resources for registered DeFi cloud users, which gives you 200 free open AI queries, queries, sorry. And this will allow you to build open AI based apps. You have visual orchestration, which is a UI that helps you plug and play and create applications. You have text embeddings. You have API based services, which is allowing you to access web apps directly and integrate the APIs without any complex backend services. Once you have created an account, you'll be then sent to the dashboard. This is where you're able to discover different apps that could be created with DeFi. You have a code interpreter that could be created. You have job advertisements, personalized dialogues. You can have chatbots created and so much more. You can see that there's a lot of different ranges of apps that could be created. You have different categories such as programming, entertainment, writing, assistant, translate, as well as HR. Now, these are just some of the things that you can do. Uh, in this case, if I click on the code interpreter, you can start chatting with it right away, which will basically solve different things uh, related to coding. Now, in this case, I think I asked it previously to write Python code for a basic snakes and ladder game, which it actually did. And it created me a functional code for it. Now, this is just one bit of it. I believe I deleted the rest of it, but you're, you're able to delete or generate, sorry, such things like this. Now, you're able to also start from scratch by building your own chatbot app. Uh, you're also able to focus on different AI applications, which could be done over here. Now, you're also able to choose from different uh, templates that are already built, which will be way easier for a lot of people. Now, you're, if you go to the plugins tab, this is something that they're continuously working on, which will be incorporated fairly soon. But if you click on the data set tab, this is something in which you can create your own data sets and train different apps based off your own data. You can upload files straight from your desktop. You're also able to sync it from Notion, 
as well as from websites, which is a feature that they're going to be incorporating fairly shortly. But in the case of this video, I'm going to just simply showcase a chat that I made. This is a world of AI chatbot that I created, and it's something that you can deploy right away and export it and embed it to a different workflow. You can start chatting with it, and I believe this one was trained with my own channel's data, so it answers questions based off what I ask it. I mean, what the like channel is about so in the case it gives you reference to what the channel is gives you more idea about what ai is in machine learning that's basically the gist of what i created with this world of ai chatbot it's fairly easy to do so you can have a prompt engineering feature which allows you to have it focus on a certain context it has api access which could be integrated with different plugins different apis as well as have it so that it could be basically outputted to another place you can see the logs and annotations what helps you track what the responses are and that's basically a gist of how this basically operates now guys if you are to click on this blue button which is the setup model provider within your application you're able to configure it and select the models that you want in this case they give you two models which are on trial you can utilize gpt4 and gpt 3.5 turbo in this case they're both on trial so they give you tokens that are completely free and you can utilize them in this case you can use 200 calls from open ai and you can use 600k tokens from anthropic now once you have used those up you can obviously purchase more and input your own api keys and you're able to select from the reasoning model types as well as the embedded models and the speech to text models but if you do not want to use these you can basically implement and search through showing different models that could be implemented over here you can use a range of different like open lm providers uh, for example if you're going to be using hugging face you can simply just click on add uh, you can do embeddings you have text generation the model type you have endpoints that could be set and you simply just need to put your API key hugging face, uh, hugging face API key, sorry, token over here. In the case of the model, you simply just go on to hugging face, copy the model card, and you simply go back and paste that over here. It's easy as that. You click save and you're able to move forward. In this case, I didn't upload my API key, so it wouldn't be showing, but that's easy as that, guys. If you go to data source, you can add your own workspace from Notion. You can play around with different uh, plugins. In this case, you can work with SERP, which is the Google search API. And you're basically able to integrate different things as well by integrating GitHub and Google. You're able to also work with different languages. So definitely take a look at this if you want to work with anything other than English. But that's basically what the model provider tab is about. Now, if you want to configure this further, you can definitely go on the documentation tab and you can get started with all of their tutorials, which will help you learn a lot more on what you can do with advanced features of D5. But that basically concludes today's video, guys. I hope you got some more insight as to what you can do with this new updated D5 model. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Definitely check out the consulting page if you want to book a one on one with me. Follow the Patreon page if you want to check out our Discord definitely give world of ai a follow if you guys haven't already and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas